Dean, thanks for joining me once again. We host Tabletop of Stockport at the weekend. Uh, how are you feeling going into it? Yeah, delighted, obviously, to be back after our COVID situation. Um, well, it's towards day today, so towards the afternoon. So everyone's tested negative this morning when they come back uh, to train. We've obviously had the last week off, so it's not ideal preparation, but it's the world we live in at this moment in time. We're not complaining about it, and we're looking forward to Saturday. We're going to pit our wits against, you know, really the informed team. And for me, I heard Daryl McMahon say it last week when they played against them, tagging them against them last week in his interview after the game. And he's right for me that anyone that comes above Stockport will be the champions. Uh, these are the best squad. Excellent manager. And um, what they've changed from the last time we played them is they walk way harder without the ball. Uh, and they've got a better defensive structure. And that's no disrespect to the previous manager. And they've got excellent players. They've got uh, football league players and they're a really good side. So it's going to be a really difficult day for us. Um, but it's a great challenge for us, especially for some of our young players. And we'll see how, how far we've come. Uh, you know, we need to improve, definitely need to improve in both boxes. Um, it's somewhere we've got to get better at, but we're looking forward to the game. Well, they've won the last eight, uh, eight matches in a row. So how do we combat the, the confidence they'll be coming here with? Um, we have to minimal match them for walk ethic. Uh, walk ethic and we've got get in their face got to make it difficult for them um, they've got a lot of good players you know I can't know idea they've got a lot of excellent players um, and we've got to uh, show our attributes when we're in possession you know we've got some good good speed good athleticism now in the, uh, back in the team so um, we've got to do better in both boxes that's what's important in this game uh, they're really good in both boxes um, I think 40% of their goals this season have come from their right hand side from crosses so it's a uh, We've got to make sure we stop crosses coming into the box. And like I say, they have got weaknesses every team has in this division. Every team has at every level. And we've got to try to hold their weaknesses and make sure that everybody has to come to the fourth in, uh, in air camp. We have to have eight hour tents across the board if we're to get something out of the game. We, we beat them earlier on in the season. I'm sure we'll be going in with, with the same belief that we can do it again. Yeah, it's slightly different, different manager, like I say. Um, same formation, uh, similar structure. Um, but they walk extremely hard without the ball, much harder than what they were walking back then. Um, so just different circumstances. But um, and like I say, they're flying with confidence. We've had such a stop start last four or five league games. They've been over a long, long period. Um, so really, f for December and January, it's been a bit of a write off for us. It's just been stop start. It's been frustrating when it looked like we had a lot of momentum going into the Christmas period. But that's gone now, we've got to learn from that. And we go into now a really hectic schedule. I think we've got 12 games in six weeks. Um, we, our Notts County games be arranged, uh, being rearranged for the 8th of February. So we're Saturday, Tuesday now for the next six weeks. So it's, uh, we've got to step up and uh, we've got to perform. Joe Woodson scored and, and also suffered a nasty injury in the, in the reverse fixture at Stockport. How was he getting on? Yeah, Joe's uh, recovery's going really well. Uh, he's had his first operation, obviously, uh, before Christmas. His second operation is due in the next four weeks, so hopefully that'll be successful. He's in and around the camp, he's already, always around the place, but mainly in the in the treatment room and in the gym. So uh, it's a slow recovery for Joe, but it's uh, it's been it's been good for him so far. So good. Yeah, it's it's been two almost two weeks since our last match. How, how do you think it might affect us uh, on Saturday? Yeah, it does affect you. Momentum, hundred percent. You know, not many teams come out of COVID and go on and. And get victories, but what I would say, you know, if I look at Alan Devonshire's side, you know, they had they had this situation back in sort of October, uh, November time, I think it was mainly November so time, and they've just come off the back of some great victories. So it shows you can be done. Um, I think they beat Chesterfield at home. Um, they won again, and then they went to the, the other night to Stockport. And in the first half, I felt that uh, Maidenhead were the better side, they had the better chances, and didn't take them. And in the end, the quality of of Stockport won the game. So. You know, we've got to make sure that we perform the way we know we can perform. The, the levels of Torquay, um, the levels of all the shot we played against teams like that, yeah, we've got to get back to that level and that's, we've got to be consistent in our performances. So that's the big question, can we answer it? We, we signed, uh, we've signed Teddy Howe since we last caught up. Uh, what do you feel he's going to bring to the team? Teddy's an upgrade, um, in my opinion. Um, we want two players to every position, which is very important. We haven't got that at, at, that, at this moment in time, but I don't want to replace Peter with Paul. It's very important we, we bring in better than what we've got. That's the only way we improve. Um, and Teddy's got a good shout of starting Saturday, to be honest with you. Um, but he's a good player, very athletic, a lot of speed. Uh, Muay type of fullback, gives us uh, speed in the wide areas. Um, can defend one on one really well. Uh, he's aggressive in his running. So, yeah, we're delighted that uh, we made that acquisition.
We've obviously got a busy few weeks coming up. Are we still looking to strengthen our, our squad? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, we need to upgrade. We need to get better. You see, everybody signing players. The only thing I'd say for us, where we are in the food chain, we have to keep shaking the tree and see what falls from it. Um, which is, you know, we, we're not going out and be able to buy players. We haven't got them finance. So that doesn't bother me. There's lots of good players. You know, I've a good old saying. You know, there's, there's not just good wine in Harrods. You can get good wine in Aldi as well. So you just got to find it and you got to keep searching. We've just got to be patient because we need to sign better players. Um, I don't mean that disrespectfully to the route we have. If I'm a footballer in the changing room at Barnet Football Club and I see a player coming in, if he's not better than what we got, you know, the respect doesn't, doesn't happen between the group. We want better players coming in so everyone can raise the bar and we can improve the team. So hopefully we'll bring some players in, especially when the window closes. Um, and let's see what happens because the EFL clubs obviously have a window. They only allow 25 men squads, so we just have to be patient. And given the fact that it's going to be our first game in almost two weeks, how much are you looking forward to getting back amongst fixtures? Yeah, it's a great fixture for us, you know. Uh, they're top, they're, they're the benchmark, you know, and they're on a real roll, so we've got to stop that roll. Um, like I said, we've got to match them for work ethic first and foremost. We've got a game plan we want to stick to. Um, the first goal is going to be huge, I feel, within the game. I felt the same against Chesterfield, the first goal was huge. We got in some good areas and didn't and didn't hurt them as much as we can do, but um, this is a little bit different to Chesterfield. Chesterfield a little bit more direct. To be fair to Stockport, they'll try to go around you and through you. The tempo of our game is excellent, so we know what to expect. And uh, like I say, you know, it's a game we should enjoy walking hard for each other in. And if we can walk hard for each other, and we can get after them, hopefully we can win the football match.